Hello YouTube people. Today I'll try to fix my Casio MTP1200, which I broke while trying to modify it. I changed the seconds hand from silver to blue and in, in, in the process by removing or inserting the stem I somehow damaged the movement. But uh, the original movement, this Miyota movement, cost just 3 euros and it's already here so let's try to swap the movement and let's see how hard it is <laughs> yeah, first of all I'm no expert no watch collector uh, I don't really have skills required for that but I have played with a lot of cheap eBay watches that cost two euros three euros and I have swapped a lot of hands dials modify them before even starting this YouTube channel so I have a little practice in that but I always did that with my hands without gloves without using proper tools nor do I have proper proper tools now but the thing is I didn't really care about those cheap watches I damaged them I just throw them away but I kind of care about this one I like this watch and it was, it's not 2 or 3 euros, I paid 70 euros for this, for this watch. And it has sapphire uh, glass and it has more water resistance than you would ever need. It's a wonderful watch. And it has screw down back. It's, it's great. I love it. Look at it. And this bracelet is custom if you're wondering. So yeah. Okay, let's try fixing it. Well, funny enough. I don't even have a proper tool to unscrew this, the case back, so I just improvise. Yes, I scratch up the back of this watch, but honestly I don't really care about the back of this watch. So yeah, it was already unscrewed a little bit, so it was very easy. And let's put on the gloves. Okay, so first thing, um, I don't know if this new movement is even working, so let's push in the stem and I'm gonna put it next to my ear and listen if it ticks. And yes, it ticks, but well, it's good movement, it ticks very, very quietly. So let's remove the stem. So how to remove the stem out of this Miyota movement. First of all, you push in the stem. Sorry for the cat here. And here's a little, little tiny hole. There's a little tiny hole. You see that hole? Very, very little tiny hole. That one. You push that little hole and you pull out the crown. I'm gonna put a movement on some kind of a hole. This movement thing where you place your hour and minute hands. I don't wanna damage it. It's very hard doing that in the air. So let's put it on this fat leather strap. Put it on the edge and yeah. So let's check the, the stem is pushed in, great. So I push that little hole that I showed you and that's it. The stem is very easy to remove, never apply force. I have learned this. I have applied a little force on this movement and it broke. So. I don't need really do the same on this movement because it's already broke. <laughs> you can just take out the crown. Very simple. Let's disassemble. By the way, first of all, I would like to check where is the top. So the Casio logo is here and the battery is on top. So I know when I put, put, put in the movement, the battery has to face the same way that's the Casio logo. Okay, first of all, remove this plastic and let's take out the movement. Now, how I am going to remove those hands? Here is the plan. I don't want to damage the dial, 
so I will try to cover the dial with something. The paper gets under the hands easily. It's thin enough. So let's do this. Let's push in a little hole. I don't want to bend the paper in this. Yeah. And let's cut the entrance. And now let's try push it on the on the dial. And here it is. The dial is protected now. So let's start removing. So let's take off the seconds. And let's take off the minutes. Minutes hand and our hand. Very easy, very gentle. That's it. Now I have to remove the movement itself. I don't really see any edges where I could put my very sharp screwdriver in and move it out. Oh, it's very easy. Just push it slightly and comes off. Let's place the new movement in the place. Casio logo will be facing this way. So I know that the battery has to go this way as well. I'm just trying to be very, very gentle, very nice. And it's in place. Great. I haven't broke it yet. <laughs> okay, let's try doing that very gently while resting my wrist on the table and not using my hands. I'll just simply put it on the place. And it's in place. I saw on YouTube one guy did this. So now you insert the crown and set the time at 12. Yeah, exactly at 12 and push in the crown. Now I have to put the minute hand also exactly at 60 minutes. If I could grab one, of course. Okay. So I believe it is in place now. I have to push it to the exact 12 minutes very very gently and you have to do that at 12 because you want your hands to be nicely aligned I have to look from the side to see if those hands are very are not crossing each other if they're sitting nicely they move freely nice Okay, exactly six. Yes, it is aligned very, very nicely, I would say. Now let's put on the second hand. Here's the second hand. The tiny little blue, beautiful second hand. How I do even do that? Okay, it sits nicely. Now let's push it down. And let's see if it's sitting nicely. No, the face is facing a little bit down. No, it's gonna cross the minutes handle. I have to raise the nose a little bit more. Oh, it's great. It's great. Perfect. Now, the moment of truth. Let's see. I push in the crown and see if it goes. Yes. Yes, it's going. Great. 
Now let's again. Let's check if no hands touch each other. So going very nice. At twelve. At twelve looks aligned very nicely. Yeah, very nice. And let's put them all together. And look from the side. Yes, there is a gap between each of them. Looks very good. And yet again, let's check at 6 o'clock. Yes, hands sitting very straight. I like it. I like what I see. Let's assemble it all back. But now I have to remove the crown. Yeah. Very easily, very carefully. Now let's put it back in the case. Okay, let's put it in. Nice. Let's put the plastic part. Plastic part is in. Push in the crown. Very easily, very nicely. No force applied at all. So the crown is in. Everything seems very nice. So let's double check the alignment of the hands. Pull out the crown, let's set it at 12 and see if everything is aligned. Yeah, wonderful. Now let's check on 6. Is everything aligned at 6? Great, wonderful. And let's set the time. It's 10, 10 a.m. and 59 minutes almost. So 10 and almost 59, but I I have a second hand on 12, so I just put it on 59 exactly and wait. And 2, 1, exactly 59, great. So the time is set, we'll check if it's accurate in several days. All looks great, now let's assemble the watch. Speaking of this rubber gasket i have already oiled it no worries there so let's put on the keys back and i can remove my gloves now yet again i don't have a proper tool please don't judge me I would say it's screwed in tightly enough. Now let's put on this wonderful bracelet, which is all solid, solid end links. And this clasp is also milled, so it's all, all great. Looks amazing. Finally it's done. <sighs> Oh my god, I got tired. <laughs> By the way, thank you guys that give me advices on things like this. I'm a complete noob and it helps me a lot. And one guy told me on Reddit that you have to rest your wrists on the table and move, uh, do everything with your fingers and in this way it's way more precise. And take breaks, sometimes chill, relax <sighs> and, and then continue doing that and that helps a lot these little tips are very helpful thank you for that and this was the most difficult project I, I did and it's finished it's great uh, it has no dust inside no scratches that would be very <laughs> visible at least so great I love this watch so much man and it looks so amazing with that blue second hand. It's it's custom. Now it's properly custom. Now it's properly my watch. And this bracelet is all solid metal, solid end links, quick release, and uh, it's it has milled 
milled clasp as well. Now it's amazing watch. And yes, it has screw down back. This crown has uh, rubber seals. It's you know it's castle quality and sapphire crystal. Man, it's amazing. This watch is amazing. Okay, let's take off this beautiful Casio of my hand also a project watch project of this watch uh, video is a link in the description <laughs> sorry my English today <laughs> one of those days <laughs> okay let's put on this beauty on my hand wow 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 I love it I love it by the way this is my favorite Casio such a beautiful watch so that's it uh, thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed leave uh, some advices for me in the comments for my next projects and give me some ideas for the next projects as well so thanks for watching have a nice day and <laughs> goodbye